Hey guys, Cat Demon here. Today we're going to be talking about an animatronic that Spirit Halloween released six months ago. Uh, his name, if I can pronounce it right, is Lord Dankenhaber. Uh, he is a hanging prop uh, that Spirit Halloween has now on their website. Uh, I don't think, I definitely don't think he'll be in stores. They usually do release one or two animatronics, you know, before even way before the Halloween season even starts, uh, just to get people's interest going, but. Um, he's a hanging vampire, uh, as you can see here, uh, that moves his head up and down and talks his mouth, similar to a, uh, the Bloody Bag of Jokes, I believe his name was. Very cool. I wish I had him. He was from a while ago, 2013 Clown Train, um, that was way better, but they made, it looks like a vampire reskin, uh, where he, his head goes up and down, his mouth moves, and he speaks in, you know, like, a vampiric tone. Um, where he talks about, like, your heartbeat and how, like, alive you are. Uh, not sure. That's a bit odd, but, you know, they gotta come out with something. Uh, the detail is pretty cool, um, around his neck. Um, I like the most. Um, it'll be an interesting prop, uh, to see people get. Um, his eyes also do glow red, too, so there's that. Uh, I know a lot of people are ha uh, a fan of the hanging props. Um... I personally do like them, but I don't have a lot of places in my house where I can hang them, so it's kind of hard for me, uh, you know, to get them, which is unfortunate, but, you know, it's the truth. So, um, obviously I wouldn't be picking him up. Um, on Spirit Halloween's website, I think he is, uh, quite a bit, uh, for a hanging prop. He's 180, which is, isn't bad, um, it's cheaper uh, uh, oddly more than the cocoon corpse which is a bit odd because um the cocoon corpse is a hit and i definitely think it's better than this lord uh dankenhaber but maybe because uh he does a little more uh than him i mean he does have glowing eyes and a moving mouth so that could be also it uh but the i still think that the um Cocoon Corpse has better movement because he twists from side to side. I think that's more realistic and it's cool. Um, but he still ends up being cheaper than him, which I don't understand. I don't think a lot of people would buy him, but it'll be interesting to see who does and how they use him. Uh, as I think Spirit Halloween's only released like one other vampire prop. It was like a lunging vampire. And that's really it. So I don't know what you can do much with this prop. Um, uh, definitely, I think it's a worse version of the Cocoon Corpse. Now, I'm not going to judge because, you know, I, I don't, I'm not going to have him. Maybe he will end up being pretty cool. He does seem to have a lot of detail on him, which could also be something. Um, uh, so he's he's cool, but I think the price uh, is a little much. Um, maybe just because of all the detail they put into him. I'm not sure, uh, but it'll be interesting to see. Uh, so there's not much I have to say on him. Uh, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit just to address it uh, because some people, you know, might be interested in seeing this. Um, now, if you look at some of the pictures they have, like stock photos, uh, he's a lot less detailed. So I really don't know what their, what their plan is here. I know these are like prototypes, but still, it looks like his cape is made out of cloth, which I think they're gonna actually gonna end up doing, but his chest and arms don't even seem that detailed as in like, the actual like released photo seems a lot better maybe it's just the lighting so if he's gonna look like this i really don't think a lot of people are gonna buy him uh that's just my personal opinion uh maybe you really like him and you'll get him that's fine uh but i really don't like him that much um that's just how i feel so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you thought of the video